Hey, Perry Peacock here today. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, just a little quick, uh, just a little quickie video. Hopefully, hopefully I can keep it short. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show just a quick, easy way that you can make your own uh, mittens, uh, very simply on your own home sewing machine. Uh, it doesn't take very long. I'll show you exactly how to do it. And uh, what I'm using is uh, we're using quite a bit of fleece and stuff these days and I we've got some scrap stuff laying around so thought we'd make some uh, mittens out of them and uh, let's show you how to do that very quickly all right so what I'm going to do is just trace a pattern onto this is an old uh, shipping envelope I just cut it cut it and turn it inside out and uh, what I did is just lay my I just laid my hand on there and I just traced around it and then uh, then you just take kind of clean up the edges and then you just take like right here and add about a half inch uh, all the way around and I'd add like about three quarter inches to this side just just to give you a little extra slack there so and make sure you get when you mark it make sure you draw your lines all the way down to where the where your thumb comes together here because that tends to want to creep up on you and then you got kind of a short thumb so you want to make sure that you get all the way down there and once you have your pattern it's uh, pretty simple to go from there okay so that one was cut with uh, white side up now we've got to cut one the opposite way so that uh, we have a inside and outside so we can just go like however we want to depends on how economizing you want to be on your fabric so make sure right here in the thumb you make sure you mark right in the right into the bottom of that thing it's so like I say it wants to creep out on you usually so there you go right there so now we can just uh, go ahead and start cutting them all right, so let's go ahead and cut this. I just want to kind of get that big chunk out of here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go down in here and just separate those two. And now you just want to stay a little bit to the outside of the line. Because this stuff's going to creep up on you a little bit. I don't know. It always wants to be smaller on it, no matter what I do. Make sure you take that right into the bottom of that V right there. So you don't, otherwise you're going to shorten up your thumb. And you just kind of go around the thumb like this. And uh, going out like that. So there's one of them. And let's go ahead and do this other one. Just follow that right up there. And you can do this with scissors too. I'm just, I'm left handed and I don't know how to work scissors. So I use the, I use the rotary cutter most of the time. Now we just, now we're into here. Follow that on down. Trim that even. There we go. All right, now that we have these, you can do either way. I want to put the dark as the outside of my mitten. I could do I could do the light side either. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Do you want the this is a little more like a, like this side here of this particular fabric is a little more like sheep's wool, and I want to have that on the inside. But you could do it like that. But the the bottom line is what you want to do is whatever you want the outside of your mitten to be those two sides go together so since I want the brown on the outside I'm going to sew them up with the brown uh, facing each other because we're going to sew it up and then turn them inside out well actually this is inside out <laughs> we're going to turn them right side out alright now we're ready to rock and roll here turn the machine on all right, so I want to start, I like starting at the apex of the thumb and working my way around. 
you can do whatever you want. Okay, if you can see right here, the foot to my machine, there's two sides of the foot, and I, I just want to run the outside edge of that foot. I'm going to follow that fabric around like that. So that's that's how far in I'm going to sew. There's my needle right there. So I'm going in about a quarter, a little, little more than a quarter of an inch or so from the edge. When we start off, we want to back tack a little bit, and especially I want to right here at the thumb, because the thumb gets a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure it seems like. Keep kind of working our way along here. And then as you come up on the end right here, I like to do a pretty good bar tack there. And when you're done, just pull out like that, snip it up. And what I'm going to do is shove under there and I'm going to start again right at that apex of my thumb. And we're just going to go to town here, this little deal, do my little back tack put this thing around. That's why I'm the, I'm the prototyper. I know how to do this good enough to prototype, but that's about it. We leave the, we leave the quality sewing up to the professionals. And at the end, bar tack it. Good, and then Good to go. Then when you get all done, you just take your take your snips here and uh, and to clean up all your any threads that's sticking out. All right, now we're ready to uh, turn this thing right side out. So just start like a pair of socks. Shove it on out there put on this hand here. All right. So there I go right there. There's my there's my mittens. Didn't take but 10 minutes to make them. A pair of mittens I made in about 10 minutes. You can do the same. A little bit of fleece. I use Malva Mills 300 which is a heavy winter weight fleece. And these things are just toasty warm. So uh, Barry Peacock here from Wilderness Innovation. Hope you have a great day. If you want to give a try on making some of these things? Very easy to do. Give it a shot. Have a great day.